Hello my friends, may I introduce you to the probably best workholding solution for CNC routers ever. No, I'm not exaggerating and I will show you why this fixturing method is so great and why it works so well in comparison to other concepts. Well, let's start with my old cutting board. In one sense it was great because just take a screw, put it down wherever you want in order to hold your workpiece down. But there was a big downside. As soon as you take the screws out, they're leaving these little nasty bumps. Not good. Well, what's about a T-Track or T-Slot solution? Well, there's a little problem with it as well. Can you see it? If the screw is just a little bit too long, well, it can't hold the workpiece. Okay, you could use screws in many different lengths or threaded rods. But is this really a good solution? Oh, watch out! Throw the rod in the way! Throw the rod in the way! Stop! 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 Oh. Well, what about these little fellows? How do you call them? T-nuts? Drive-in nuts? Well, the thing is, I would have to smack about 160 of them in my table. I don't know. Hey, but here it is! The perfect solution! Adjust it to the needed length then just push it in a hole in your table and screw it tight. I really like the system because you can adjust it so easily to attach all kind of stuff to the table. Just watch it. Okay, I got it, but how to hold something like this? Well, let me show you how I do it. As you can see, with this system you can attach almost everything to the table. Maybe a tree? Or maybe a little bit more common, some kind of jig to hold your wood piece? Well, I guess you can tell why I like this system so much. You don't need a tea track and you don't need to hammer in any tea nuts in your table. And if you want to know how I made them, just have a look at the first video on this channel.